Welcome to my review of the BenQ SW320 monitor. Uh, before we take a look at the actual monitor itself and get into the details, you're probably thinking, why should I take your word for what this monitor's like? Well, I've been working as a professional photographer for a number of years now, mainly doing landscape and automotive work. Uh, I've also moved into a little bit of video work as well, so the idea of a 31 and a half inch 4K monitor really jumped out at me. Um, we're going to take a look at the actual details, but you're probably thinking, does it really justify the £1,300 price tag? And you're going to have to wait until the end of the video to see whether I think it does or not. Let's take a closer look around the details. So what are the key specifications of this monitor? It's a 31.5 inch monitor with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, it's a 4K monitor so that gives you a resolution of 3840 by 2160. It's an IPS panel at 60Hz with 10 bit colour and a 5ms response time. One of the real bonuses with this monitor is BenQ's new puck. It allows you to switch between different colour profiles easily push of a button. The puck acts like a remote so it is easy to use, easy to reach and you're never fumbling around trying to change settings on the screen. It's always within touching distance. The stand pivots and is well designed and never feels heavy. The monitor is easy to move around. I think the looks of the monitor are good though business like. The bezel isn't too intrusive and looks good in any room. So that's some of the details, so how have I found the monitor? Well I've been working with it for a number of weeks now, uh, that's doing photo editing, video editing and daily just browsing of the internet and all the things that we use monitors for. To be honest, I've been completely blown away by it. It's a fantastic monitor, the colour representation is great, I've printed images since having the monitor and just really am very pleased with the results. The actual working with the monitor has been incredibly easy as well. Having such a, a wide area to work with, I've been able to have multiple things open on one panel. Don't necessarily need the second monitor anymore, but it has been useful to me. And just basically, it's been a delight to use. I like the way that BenQ have really thought about everything for photographers and people using the monitor. When you're doing hardware calibration, there's a small aperture that opens on top of the hood so that you don't have to dismantle everything to put the calibrator through. This just shows that they've really thought of how people need to use a monitor. With my setup, I've been using the MacBook Pro and a PC, which is awkward for any monitor setup but being able to switch between the displays easily, virtually at the touch of a button, has been exceptional and allows me to switch my working profile very quickly. The technical specifications of the monitor are equally as impressive. It supports all the things that you'd imagine, such as flicker-free technology, a colour temperature sensor as well, and the Delta E value is exceptionally good. A full description is available on the BenQ website. Working with the monitor has been exceptionally good. The colours are very accurate and vibrant and just being able to see everything in such detail has been a real bonus. 
My images coming off a 5D Mark III virtually fill the screen, so being able to see everything in fine detail has been excellent. So, in conclusion, what are my final thoughts on this monitor? I think £1,300 for a monitor is always going to be pricey for anyone, but to be honest, this actually works out at a bit of a bargain. I've looked at similar spec monitors from some of BenQ's competitors, and you're going to be adding on at least another £1,000 to even get close to this spec. For a professional photographer, it does everything that I need to do, and having the 4K ability and just the size of the monitor is a real treat. The colour representation is fantastic, and like I say, has all the features I could ever need. So I do think that £1,300 is actually a bargain, believe it or not. Uh, would I buy the monitor? Well, I have, so I'm certainly an advocate of it. So, if you've used the, the BenQ yourself, or if you've got any other monitors that you would suggest in this price range, please feel free to leave a comment below, and hopefully I'll look forward to seeing you at the next review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.